Department of Oral Pathology presents carving of permanent maxillary lateral incisor. The armamentarium required are wax block, lecran carver, rubber sheet, polishing cloth, green cloth and measuring scale. Carve out the uneven surfaces to get a smooth and even surface. Draw a midline and divide the crown and root portions. Mark the label side as L and just opposite to the label side is taken as palatal side. Likewise, mark the mesial and distal sides. Mark a line on either side of the midline diverging towards the incisal portion of the crown like a trapezoid, which has two parallel sides of which shorter arm towards the cervical area and wider arm towards the incisal area. Remove the wax outside the lines on the labial side first and then carve on the palatal side. Reduce all the surfaces. Once you finish the gross reduction, just polish it with the help of polishing cloth. On mesial and distal sides, make a triangle with base towards the cervical area of the crown and carve it accordingly. Make sure that apex do not contact. Maintain a little space so that you don't get a sharp incisal angle. The next step is to make a fossa on the palatal side. Mark a line in the middle third of the crown and scoop out the wax. While scooping in the palatal fossa region, preserve the mesial and distal marginal ridges. Make sure that you don't reduce the cingulum part. Cingulum should be bulky. Now, refine all the four sides. Reduce the wax on labial, mesial and distal sides. The labial surface should be convex. It shouldn't be straight. To create convexity on labial surface, we have to reduce the cervical portion so that we can get a convex labial surface.
the lingual surface should be narrower than the labial surface for that reduce mesial and distal sides and this is called lingual convergence After the gross reduction of the crown, check the dimension similar to the natural tooth. Also at the time of finishing each step, any irregularity can be smoothened with the help of polishing cloth. Now for the root part we have to draw like a cone on labial, palatal, mesial and distal sides extending from the cervical portion of the crown to the baseline of the root portion to get a tapered form. Remove the wax mesially and distally first. And then labial and palatal reduction is done. Round and the sharp angles and then do polishing with the help of polishing cloth to get a smooth and polished surface. At this time round and the distal corner of the incisal edge with polishing cloth to replicate the tooth anatomy. Dimensions of maxillary lateral incisor is lesser than the maxillary central incisor. Mesiodistal diameter of crown is 6.5 mm. Mesiodistal diameter of crown at the cervical part is 5 mm. Labiopalatal diameter of crown is 6 mm. Labiopalatal diameter of crown at cervical part is 5 mm. Length of the root is 13 mm. And cervical incisor length of the crown is 9 mm.